Hey everybody, Vaughn here with the Vaughnster Vlog and welcome to day 58 of a year of yoga. I want to thank you all for joining me here today. I hope your day's off to a good start or if you're doing yoga before bed, I hope you had a really good day. We're going to be starting just at the foot of our mat today. Practicing a couple of deep cleansing breaths to kind of center our mind. And leave the rest of the day in the outside of our little bubble right here where we can just be completely and totally present. We don't want to stress about anything, no fretting, no borrowing trouble from things that haven't happened yet or things that are in the past. Interlacing my fingers, I'm going to extend them down my back. I'm actually going to turn so that y'all can see. So just really trying to open up through my chest and the front of my shoulders. And as we're in this position, I'm going to raise and lower from being on the high balls of my feet to being flat on my feet. So we'll inhale up and down, bending my knees just a bit. Go nice and slow. Rising up as we inhale. Inhale up. Stand strong. As we inhale, let's raise our heart towards the sky. And exhale down. Now let's carefully release our hands. We don't want to like spring apart. We want to just kind of let go, not throw it. <laughs> Oh, that really makes some of my shoulders stiff. So we're going to do a little bit more belly dancey stuff today. I don't think y'all can hear it, actually. When I did the sound test, you couldn't hear it at all. But I've got some drums going. I actually, that's my very first drum mix that I had done last night. I did a bit of drumming and, like, recorded it and then tried to, like, add it in on that. that it just... It's been a whole excursion. I have so much to learn, but I'm very, very excited about it. Especially to have my own royalty-free drums to play in the background. That way I'm not having to worry about copyright infringement or any of that crap. I can just have fun. And it was a lot of fun to drum. And so you could put on any sort of music that you enjoy. I really like Lorena McKennett and Enya is pretty classic. Like Voss, I really like that group. And just kind of moving and stepping side to side. Trying to find a beat. Sometimes it can feel kind of wonky and you just want to like float through it. So let's just sway our arms like how we did yesterday. A few snake arms. either leading with our wrists or our elbows or even our shoulders. And we can start to sway and lean a little side to side. And now as we come here, let's actually lean over and then over. We could actually bring windmill our arms around. Going nice and slow. Again, just trying to find the beat. Or just floating around in it. But really getting a nice stretch through that side body. And then we'll inhale up. And let's fold at our hips as we fold forward, bringing our hands to a chair or blocks or the ground. And I'm just kind of swaying my hips side to side. And I'm going to bend my knees, 
and start to roll up, really stretching through my back. And then try to come down, so bringing our hands to our heart, just taking a moment. Now I'm going to step turning my left foot out, bringing my right foot behind me, and I'm going to lower into a high lunge, bringing my hands overhead. From that lunge, coming back to center, and then stepping out to the right as we turn to face the other way, raising our hands overhead, really engaging our glutes to tuck our pelvis. Rolling down in there. And if you have your music going, you can actually do some hand flourishes while we're here, take our mind off of whatever it might be fixating on. And we're going to step back up. That's a really great exercise for balance and just pulling everything up. It's different from what I normally do and I like to mix it up. So now let's sway our hips from side to side, really getting into that nice deep outer, like outer hip, almost what connects the, I need to get abductor or adductor, I can't remember, but it's right there on the sides. And you can sway with your music, or your music is in your heart, just whatever you've got going on. Just kind of zoning out, just Swaying from side to side. And you can move your hands around yourself in time and space, or you can just have them out to the sides. But as we get deeper into that stretch, we can actually bring our feet wider apart and bend down, making sure our foot's traveling, our knee's traveling over our foot. And then we can actually bring a little bit more of a bend into our knees and just slide from side to side. This can be very challenging. As we come up out of that, let's do some shoulder work. I'm going to move in a little bit closer like to you guys. But uh, we'll want to move just with our shoulder like cap, like right there, like the joint itself. We don't want to be moving our torso or anything like that. So it might help you to kind of put your hands on your hips or your hands on something flat in front of you. And you want to keep your posture, it's hard to bring your shoulders forward if you're already pretty hunched over. So let's bring those shoulders up and back and around. And you can move your whole arm with it, or you can focus on isolating. And this might not feel or look like a shoulder shimmy. Trying to not engage my glutes or any other part of me, just trying to isolate it in my shoulders. Experiment with different hand positions. We can bring our elbows and our hands up. And the more we exaggerate that movement, now that we're doing it nice and slow, we can actually speed it up a bit. So if we were going, ooh, 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 
Boom. Let's make it double time. So boom, 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 boom. And it might not feel like it a whole lot, but until you do it for a while, then it's like, oh my gosh, it's burning. And you can add this in with the same shift that we were doing. Ooh, I'm getting crampy. Now I'm getting crampy. Let's go ahead and turn it into a shimmy. Where you just, the faster the movement is, the smaller it becomes, but the sharper you want it to be. So we can... <laughs> and you can layer this with walking around, leaning back, leaning forward, sidestepping. It can slightly complicate things to try to add in flourishes and stuff, but that that's the great part about it, is you find the edge of where you're coordinated, which might be like, boop, we're here. <laughs> edge of coordination. Everything beyond that is a clumsy, just babble. Um, but you keep finding that and then dancing into it. And before you know it, you might have to take a couple of steps to get to the boundary of where, you know, your uh, coordination ends. <laughs> so if you fall out of it, just... Bring yourself back into it. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> Let's come back onto the mat now and inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Walking our hands down into a downward facing dog. <sighs> Let's breathe and shift from side to side. Relaxing our neck and shoulders. Before coming to a place of stillness. I love this yoga mat. I'm so sweaty right now. My hands aren't slipping and that is nice. <laughs> now from here we will bring ourselves down into plank for just a moment or two. Just lowering our knees and slowly bringing our chest to the ground. Let's inhale, exhale up, not using our hands at first, and then bringing the rest of it up. And this is another great spot to always find myself clenched into booty. Let's let those cheeks loose. And if you have the music going, you can actually do the same thing that we were doing with the shimmy, but with our butt cheeks. So squeeze one and then the other. This may seem ridiculous, but I mean, sometimes you just gotta just shake your butt. Like... I mean, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so whatever music you might have going, or you can follow along with me, we're going to go. Ch -ch I'm trying to also keep my back muscles engaged. Ah, that's a lot happening. Let's come down to our elbows. Focus on that booty. And it might help you to have like your feet with your toes tucked under. It actually makes it harder. I actually liked it better up because I could really feel like, okay, that's my butt. That's my butt working. <laughs> and then we can do it just a little faster until you can get a nice thick little, like a little earthquake in my butt. <laughs> oh, bring our feet up. Push back into a child's pose and extending over. Just stretching through our shoulders. I'm actually going to reach my left hand across my mat and really get a nice stretch through my left side body. I'm going to come up out of that, lean my right hand across and stretch. Oh, that's so nice.
Now coming up onto our hands and knees into tabletop. Let out. Inhale into cow. Bring your tailbone and our sides together so the bend up together. And exhale into cat. Really curving our spine towards the sky, pulling our navel in. And then keep moving with our breath. Just a few more here. We can start to undulate through it if you want. We can even change directions. Inhale, moving up and forward. Exhaling, coming back. Okay, now from here, let's tuck our toes under, up, back up, into downward facing dog. Or we can widen our feet, walk our hands up. Oh, we'll get a nice, nice deep bend in our knees. Let's come up to chair pose. So we have a very good bend in our knees. It's traveling over our feet, getting a really nice deep squat, exalted arms. If this is very challenging for you, you can actually be sitting over a chair and just bring yourself up off of it a little bit. That way you can, that chair is there to catch you when you come down. Are you ready? Come up out of it. And I want to do one more exercise with you guys today, and those are going to be, um, let's just do hip bumps. So I'm just kind of leaning side to side like how we did earlier, and just popping the hip out, partially with my knee, partially with my obliques. Oh, there we go. Let me find the beat again. I'm so, like, I really need to use a metronome next time because this is disastrous. So that's fine. There we go. And we can keep our hands down by our hips. And just find the beat of wherever you're at. And this is very, very knee driven. Because whenever it's driven by our knees, that frees our whole upper body. <laughs> we should be able to layer a shimmy over it. I am not there yet. But it's good to know what we want to work on. And you don't even have to be crispy with it. You can just be nice and flowy. Just shaking your butt. <laughs> and I mean, I don't know. A lot of folks get real particular about like, oh, well, that's not this kind of dance or whatever. And I'm like, let's focus less on the particulars and just focus on dancing. So I'm going to leave you all on that note. Hopefully you have some music going and you can just keep on dancing. But I will see you all next time. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me here today. I feel like that was more dance than yoga, but I don't really know. I'm tired. I will see you all tomorrow. And until then, you guys, keep on keeping on. Bye. <laughs>